Hey everyone. Welcome back to Entertainment Biz. The life of Liam Payne was an incredible one, full with personal hardships, music, and stardom. Many admirers around the world can relate to his narrative, which spans from his early days in one direction to his solo career and untimely death. We commemorate today the amazing ascent and terrible decline of Liam Payne, a cherished member of the worldwide phenomenon One Direction. Liam's path affected millions of people, from the overwhelming heights of stardom to the emotional struggles that burdened him. However, it ended much too quickly. This is the tale of Liam Payne, including his achievements, hardships, and premature passing at the age of 31. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell for more entertainment business that you need to know. The son of nurse Karen Payne and Jeff Payne, Liam James Payne was born on August 29, 1993, at New Cross Hospital in Wolverhampton's Heath Town neighborhood. Nicola and Ruth were the names of his two elder sisters. At the age of 12, Payne made her stage debut as Tony Monero from Saturday Night Fever while a member of the Pink Productions Theatre Company. Payne has previously performed at a Wolverhampton Wanderers football game in front of 26,000 spectators. At the age of 14, Payne tried out for the fifth season of The X Factor in 2008, when she was judged by Louis Walsh, Danny Minogue, Simon Cowell, and Cheryl Cole. After singing, Fly Me to the Moon, by Frank Sinatra, Payne advanced past the first round. Cowell changed his mind after being cut at the boot camp round and asked Payne to come back for the judges' houses stage. Cowell urged Payne to come back in two years after he dropped once more during the judges' homes. In 2010, Payne made a comeback to the show for the seventh season, when she tried out in front of Walsh, Cole, Cowell, and guest judge Natalie Imbruglia. He received four yes and a standing ovation from Cowell for his rendition of Cry Me a River by Michael Buble. After his solo audition, Payne was regarded as the second favorite to win the competition. Following a recommendation from guest judge Nicole Scherzinger, Payne was assembled with Harry Styles, Niall Horan, Louis Tomlinson, and Zayn Malik to form a five-piece boy band at Wembley Arena during the competition's bootcamp stage, earning him a spot in the group's category after failing to advance to the boys' category at the judges' houses. After that, the group met for two weeks to rehearse and get to know one another. They sang an acoustic rendition of Torn as their first group performance and their qualifying song in the judges' houses. Cowell subsequently stated that the band were confident, fun, like a gang of friends, and kind of fearless as well after the performance. The group placed third on the show and immediately became well known in the UK. Simon Cowell's Psycho Entertainment signed One Direction. One Direction, Forever Young, Our Official X Factor Story, a book licensed by One Direction, was published in February 2011 and reached the top of the Sunday Times bestseller list. When What Makes You Beautiful came out in September 2011, it became their first single and became a commercial and global hit, peaking at number one in multiple countries. A worldwide hit, Live While We're Young, was the lead song from the group's second album, which was released in September 2012. Little Things was another hit that led to the band's second UK number one single. Take Me Home, the group's second album, was released in November 2012 and peaked at number one in more than 35 countries. The group became the first boy band in the history of the US chart to release two number one albums in the same calendar year, and they were the first group to do so since 2008. They also reached number one on the Billboard 200. Made in the AM, One Direction's fifth album, was released in November 2015. The album peaked at number one in the UK and number two in the US, and the singles Drag Me Down and Perfect both debuted at number one in different countries. 200 Billboards The group took an indefinite break in 2016 after the album's release. Payne was assigned to cover the majority of Zayn Malik's vocals when Malik left. Payne co-wrote about half of the songs on One Direction's third and fourth albums, making him one of the band's main songwriters. Payne was the highest paid member of One Direction, along with Lewis Tomlinson. Liam's first album, LP1, was published in December 2019. It did not have much success in the US, despite reaching the top 20 on the UK charts. He kept working with different musicians, such as Rita Ora and Jay Balvin, in spite of this setback. 
He made a brief comeback to music in March 2024 with the release of Teardrops, which was the result of health concerns. This time I have more creative control, it's going to be different, he said, expressing his excitement about working on his second album. Liam Payne dated Danielle Pizer, a dancer on The X Factor at the time, from 2010 till the end of 2012. He dated Sophia Smith, a buddy from his youth, from 2013 until 2015. He began dating Cheryl Cole in 2016, and on March 22, 2017, their son was born. In 2018, they broke up. He dated British actress and model Naomi Campbell around the beginning of 2019. In 2019, Payne started dating model Maya Henry, and in August 2020, they became engaged. Payne and Henry had split up by June 2021. That year, they both got back together and were engaged once more. The couple called it quits on their engagement for the second time in May 2022. Since One Direction's height of fame, Payne had talked about battling drinking. In particular, he talked about being imprisoned in hotel rooms with minibars in between performances. He said, in the band, the best way to secure us, because of how big we'd got, was just to lock us in our rooms. What's in the room? A mini bar. So at a certain point I thought, I'm just going to have a party for one and that seemed to carry on for many years of my life. Then you look back at how long you've been drinking and you're like, Jesus Christ, that's a long time. Payne talked about his battles with suicide thoughts as well. He claimed to have been sober for more than three months in 2023. As an adult, Payne was diagnosed with ADHD. He was admitted to the hospital in August 2023 due to a renal infection. He declared his sobriety later in 2023 and claimed to have attended a rehabilitation center. He said, I'm sober now, over 100 days. I feel amazing, I feel really, really good and the support from the fans has been really, really good, so I'm super happy. At the age of 31, Payne passed away on October 16, 2024, after falling from a third-floor balcony at the Casa Sur Hotel in the Palermo neighborhood of Buenos Aires, Argentina. The hotel management reported an aggressive man who could be under the effects of drugs and alcohol to the police, who responded to the emergency call. When he is conscious he is destroying the entire room and we need you to send someone, the manager said during the call, adding that the man's life was in danger because the room had a balcony. Shortly after the rescue services arrived, Payne fell from the balcony. At 5.11 p.m., his death was officially declared. Time Zone, Argentina, UTC-3.00. A cranial fracture and extremely serious injuries were reported by the emergency medical team that arrived at the hotel, and Payne died instantly as a result. Globally, fans were saddened. Fans, celebrities, and his former bandmates all offered heartfelt tributes. In their moving tributes, Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson, and Niall Horan recalled Liam as a friend and brother in addition to being a gifted artist. Liam was also honored by Zayn Malik, who had left One Direction years prior, who acknowledged their connection despite the group's ups and downs. His songs, his role in One Direction's legendary success, and the influence he had on countless lives will all live on in his legacy. Even though Liam Payne's life was cut short, his impact will go on for years to come. We can only hope that Liam was able to find peace in the end. Liam Payne, may you rest in peace. Though missed, you will always be remembered. We appreciate you watching our homage to Liam Payne. Please share in the comments if his tale moved you or if his music had an influence on your life. For more tales of music icons that passed away too soon, remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Take care of one another and yourself till the next time. Like us, they ever fight like us